Hello, and welcome to a fun do-it-yourself video brought to you by the Costa Mesa Parks and Community Services Virtual Recreation Team. Today's lesson will be led by teen program staff Vivian. She will be showing you how to make your very own lawn croquet course using pool noodles. Uh... Croquet is thought to originate from France sometime in the 13th century and was played by French farm workers. The game was later introduced to England sometime in the 1800s where the game grew in popularity amongst the wealthier British people. The game of croquet can be played and enjoyed by people of all ages. Now, go ahead and gather the following materials to make your very own croquet game set. You will need two stakes per wicket or arch, Popsicle sticks work well, 52 inch pool noodles, number of noodles is dependent on the size of your course, Vivian is using six noodles on her course, each noodle will give you your mallet handle, mallet foot, and one wicket or arch, ping pong ball or wiffle ball to play a game, strong tape, two popsicle sticks per number sign, if you want to add a learning element for our younger viewers, sharp scissors, but be careful, ruler, construction paper for signs, and markers. Let's begin by first making our mallet. Begin by carefully measuring our 24 inches beginning at one end of your pool noodle and lightly marking it with a marker before finally cutting it out. Vivian prepped her pool noodle prior to filming to show you the pieces you will eventually cut out of each of your pool noodles. Note the labels of each piece of the pool noodle. This is why it is important to carefully measure and mark your pool noodle prior to cutting into it. Don't be afraid to take your time. This step will need to be repeated depending on how many mallets and wickets you plan to make. Vivian will be making two mallets for her game. You will see this later when she challenges her fellow community service leader Drake to a friendly game. After you cut out your 24 inch mallet handle, you will cut out 7 inches off the end of your noodle for the mallet foot. To connect your mallet to your mallet foot, measure out 3.5 inches in towards the center of the pool noodle and cut a cross in the center. Each side should be a half of an inch. Separate the cross and slide the 24 inch pool noodle through the center hole in the smaller 7 inch pool noodle. The shorter pool noodle will be the foot of your mallet, which you will use to hit your ball. Use your tape to secure the foot to the mallet handle. How to make the wicket or arch. You should have the 21 inch piece of your pool noodle left over. This will be used as your wickets or arches. This is where you score to win the game. Take a long piece of tape and wrap it around the edge of your 21 inch pool noodle. Leave around a half of an inch of tape with the sticky side in about the edge of your noodle. Place your popsicle sticks in the center of your pool noodle and hold in place as you squeeze your popsicle stick between your noodle. Pinch the tape together to seal. Fold the leftover tape down and add more tape to secure the popsicle stick on each end of your noodle. You may need to adjust the lengths of the popsicle stick as the length of the pool noodles vary. Let's make our number signs. If you would like to add a learning element or have a set order to your game, complete this step. Begin by drawing your numbers on your construction paper to make your numbers signs. Do this for all your wickets. Vivian will be making her course go up to the number 6, which means there are 6 wickets. If you'd like, feel free to laminate your number signs to make them last longer. Then just cut them out with scissors. Vivian will not be laminating hers today. Tape each number sign to popsicle sticks or paint stirring sticks. To have a better hold, place your sticks in the T-shape to have more support when stuck in the grass. There you have it. Now let's go set up a game. When setting up, gently push the craft sticks into the ground for each wicket. Feel free to continue changing and redesigning your pool noodle croquet course. Make your course as long as you'd like. Thank you for watching. We hope you learned something new, and see you next time. Bye!